Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the short story, The Necklace, written, written by Guy de Maupassant. Now, I'm pretty sure I butchered that name, but I will have it written uh, properly in the title. Um, so, you know, before I go into summary analysis of this work, um, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So the necklace, this short story is very interesting. I, I really enjoyed reading it. Um, it, um, it makes you think. It makes you think about uh, a lot of things in life. Um, so basically, it's a very short story. It's not that long. Um, uh, basically, we have a man by the name of uh, Monsieur Loisel. Uh, he gets married to a woman by the name, well, to a woman who becomes Madame Loisel. Um, that's, that's pretty much what you need to keep in your, in your mind um, for this summary. Um, just this couple is, is pretty much what this whole story is about. You know, and, and what basically happens is that this woman, she's born, uh, she's very pretty. She's born, she's very pretty, very attractive. Uh, but she's born into a family that's not rich, you know. Um, she's born into a family that's not that does, that, that's just not rich and she thinks that she's a beautiful girl and and in her mind she wants the finer things in life the luxuries of life the the palaces the mansions the the lavish restaurants the lavish coats the you know the the big balls and dances and and, and dresses and gowns and beautiful things but the thing is she wasn't born into a, a royal family, into a rich family. She's yes, she's very beautiful, and a lot of men would would see her as beautiful. Uh, but because of her status in life, because she wasn't born into that rich, um, you know, aristocrat, you know, the bourgeoisie type of um, um, family, um, you know, she has to get married to uh, Monsieur Loisel. Uh, and Monsieur Louis Loisel is, you know, he's a government clerk, a minister of education, government clerk. Uh, he doesn't make a lot of money. He makes just enough to get by to support himself and, and potentially a wife. And he gets married to Madame Loisel and she's not happy because her husband is not, you know, charming and handsome and sought after. And, you know, he's not anything like that. Um, for him, you know, this is amazing. He gets a beautiful wife. He has a job. He has a home. It's not the most, uh, you know, beautiful home. And, and, you know, he's not going crazy over his home. Uh, but, um, you know, he has a wife. He has a home. And he has a job. Uh, to him, he's content. But to his wife, Madame Loisel, you know, she's in hell. Because she she's very beautiful. And she doesn't get all the... The knickknacks, all the jewels, all the, um, you know, wonderful affairs that come with a, a rich life. She believes that she was made and born into the world to enjoy the finer things in life and to find herself married to a man that's not, you know, charming and, and you know, sought after and all this and that. And the third, um, she feels very depressed. And so Madame Loisel, you know, she just pretty much goes around her days uh, unhappy, um, pretty much crying, and and seeing that you know her life will never amount to anything because she's not rich, she's not part of that that class, um, and and basically what ultimately happens is that her husband, Monsieur Loisel, he gets invited to a um, upper class party, an upper class ball, and he brings home the invitation to his wife. Madame Loisel looks at the invitation and she's appalled. She's like she she doesn't want to go because she doesn't have the dresses, she doesn't have the jewels, she doesn't have the status, and people are just going to laugh at her. And her husband tries to say, you know, say things like, oh, instead of wearing jewelry, why don't you wear flowers? They're very cheap. And and this just seems like, you know, whenever the husband suggests things, it always just seems like just horrible to her. Because it's like, you know, to her, Mademoiselle, you know, to her, her husband just doesn't understand. He doesn't, doesn't He doesn't get it. They're not rich. They don't have money. They don't have the luxuries of life. Um, and so we kind of see throughout this, this short story that that dynamic of the husband and, and the wife, uh, of her not being content with life and happy with what she has 
and the husband, you know, trying to cheer her up, trying to make her happy, but it's, it, you know, he doesn't really understand what's truly going on. And so they do get invited to this party. Um, you know, the husband gives gives the, his wife the money that he's been saving up for himself. Um, you know, he wanted to get something nice for himself. Um, but because the wife wanted to wear a nice dress, Madame Moselle wanted to wear a nice dress, um, you know, she, um, she gets the money. Um, and then she wanted jewelry to go to this party because uh, she she says that, you know, she'll only go to this party if she had the dress, if she had the jewelry, if she looked the part. And so um, she has a friend by the name of Madame Forestier um, and Madame Forestier, um, she's rich. She has she has more money than them. Um, she's an upper class person. Uh, and, um, you know, Madame Loiselle borrows a, a necklace a diamond necklace um, from Madame Forestier. Um, keep in mind, I'm gonna just spoil it for you guys right now, right here. Uh, the necklace that Madame Loiselle borrows from Madame Forestier is fake. It's not a true necklace. It's not valued. It's not, it's a fake. Um, but you know, Madame Loiselle doesn't know that. She, she believes that she's borrowing a real diamond necklace from a real friend um, and um, she wears it, she puts it on her neck, she goes to the party with her husband, she has a gro uh, an old, you know, grand time, she dances with, with a bunch of men, she enjoys herself, she's, the, she's the, the belle of the ball, all the men say that she's beautiful, she's charming, you know, all the wonderful things that Madame Loiselle wanted since she was a child, to be beautiful, to be sought after, um, to be in the upper class, to dance in between the rich, she gets all of that in one night, and then she has to go home with her husband. And then by the time they get home, they recognize, they, they, they see that the necklace is gone. And they pretty much lose their mind. They lose their mind because they know that the necklace is worth a lot, and it's not. It's not worth anything. It's a fake. But they don't know that. And so the story goes on. They get a fake, they, they get a real necklace. And, and oh my goodness, this is what makes this, this, this story so grueling is that they don't know it's a fake. Um, they think it's real. Um, so what happens is that they get a, they buy a real necklace for a lot of money, for real money. Um, you know, Mr. Loisel, he gets into debt. He borrows money here and there. He gets into massive debt. Um, to buy this this um, real diamond necklace um, to replace the one that his wife has messed up. Um, and so, you know, it, the story goes on. Um, they, they replace it. They replace the fake one, the fake necklace with a real necklace. Then they give it to Madame Forestier. Uh, and, you know, she's she just takes the box and, and goes ahead. And then uh, Madame Loisel and Monsieur Loisel, they spend the next 10 years working hard, grueling jobs, um, paying off the debt that they uh, crew, um, the, you know, the debt that they got into to buy the diamond necklace. And Madame Loisel, because she starts to scrub floors, clean the house, take care of the house while her husband's at work, she gets, you know, older, you know, she starts to let to less you know, she starts to look less beautiful, less taken care of. Her husband has to put in extra work, extra hours. They work for 10 years. They get older. Um, and all because of this this night of dancing and, and, you know, all of because that Madame Loiselle went to be beautiful and sought after. They spend the next 10 years paying off uh, the fact that they lost the, the fake necklace that's fake. Um, and so um, the story goes on. They do um, manage to pay off um, the money for the necklace. Um, and, and ultimately, at the end of the story, Madame Loiselle fi finds Madame Forestier and says, you know, uh, remember the necklace I borrowed from you 10 years ago to go to this uh, ball? Well, I lost uh, your actual necklace. I replaced it with, with another necklace that cost me so much money. It took me 10 years to pay it off. 
and then Madam Forest Dear drops a bomb on us and says to Madame Loisel, listen, listen, that necklace was fake. So you took a fake necklace to a ball, you had all your fun, you lost it, it's worth nothing, and then you replaced it with a real necklace that you had to pay 10 ye that you had to work 10 years to pay it off, to pay off the debt to pay for that, and you gave me back a real diamond necklace. That's a mic drop, and that's how the story ends. In terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here, there's a lot to take in. I mean, Madame Loisel, her her dreams, her fantasies made her work grue a grueling 10 years to pay off a mistake. Um, you know, she she had a she had a good decent offer in life. Look, it's not perfect, but she had a husband, she had a home, she had a house. She even had a servant in the beginning of this short story. It's not the perfect life. But it's better than a whole lot of other people. Um, but that was not enough for her. Because she thought that she was so beautiful, she thought that she deserved to be part of the bourgeoisie, the, arist the aristocrats. Um, but that does not happen. Her aspirations, her dreams, her fantasies got her 10 years of grueling work. And then the worst um, slap in, in human history when Madam Forestier says you didn't have to do all that, the necklace was fake. Um, so, oh, so, I mean, that, that's just a lot to take in. I feel sorry for her husband because Monsieur Loisel, um, when he was getting all these loans, all these things to pay back her wife's mistake, you know, he was just getting into debt, getting into debt. And from his mind, getting married, having a job, he was already happy. Um, but because of his wife's fantasies, um, he had to work a, a, a 10 hard years to pay back a debt um, that he didn't need to, to have. Um, so that's the story of the necklace. Um, really interesting story. Real mic drop at, mic drop at the end uh, with what's revealed to us. Um, but also, it tells us the, the, the price that we can pay for vanity, for looks, for beauty, for thinking that we deserve things based on how we look. Because Madame Moiselle, you know, she thinks that she deserved the world be just based on the fact that she was born beautiful. And even though she was born in a lower class, she thought because she was beautiful, the world owed her everything. Well, well, boo-boo, the world does not owe you anything. Um, and the smack at the end of this short story proves that the world can be a very, very, very cruel place, especially to the, to the people who are, you know, clinging on to vanity and, and just really you know, kicks, um, the people who kick at um, common sense um, and reason, um, the people who just attach themselves to fantasies and, and wild dreams, um, a lot of times, or I would say 100% of the time, life really comes back at you sometimes and really wallops you um, and, and revealing that you just worked for 10 years, Madame Moiselle, you just worked for 10 years of hard labor for absolutely nothing. And that is, that's a bitter pill to swallow. So that's my summary and analysis of this work. Please remember to give a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.